In this tutorial, we will model a generic camshaft. So let's start a 2D sketch. And we're going to sketch the profile of the lobe on the XY plane. We'll start by using the circle tool from the origin and we'll draw in a circle of 35 millimeters. Just above that, let's draw in another circle. That will be eight millimeters in diameter. And let's use the vertical constraint between the center points of both circles. And then we use the tangential constraint between both of these circles so that they're in contact like so. Let's use the line tool now and just draw a line anywhere between um, the two circles and just the same on the other side. Again, we'll use the tangential constraint between this line, this circle, and with the smaller circle as well. Repeat the process for this line. And then we have our profile of the cam lobe. So let's go to 3D model and we'll extrude all of these profiles. We'll extrude them by 20 millimeters. Okay, and that's our first lobe there. Let's draw the other one. So let's offset uh, a plane. Select this face here. We'll offset that plane by 80 millimeters. Press OK. Let's select that plane, create 2D sketch. We're going to project uh, the profile of the lobe which we drew before, like so. I'm just going to hit F8 on the keyboard and I'm going to delete these projection constraints. And that gives us freedom over this profile. And then we can rotate that. But let's use the rotate tool and we'll draw a box around our sketch. And for the center point, use the center. And let's input 180 degree rotation. Click apply. Let's finish the sketch there. Right click on that plane and we'll turn off the visibility. So right click and press V. And then once again, extrude that profile 20 millimeters. That's correct. And we have our two lobes. Let's go ahead and put in the camshaft now. We'll start a 2D sketch on this face here. Draw a circle from the origin. Uh, let's do this 25 millimeters. Go on 3D model and extrude that profile. Um, I've calculated this at 180 degrees. And then let's extend that shaft from this face. So we'll create a 2D sketch here. We'll project the shaft and extrude that profile there. Except we're going to do this by 40 millimeters. Okay, that's looking good. Go ahead and tidy this up a bit. So let's put some fillets um, on this edge and also the same edges on the other lobe. These are one mil fillets, that's okay. Let's put in a chamfer on this edge here. It's a two mil chamfer and we'll put in a mounting hole on this face. So let's go to create 2D sketch, put a circle in there. Uh, let's do five millimeters and let's extrude that. Uh, let's extrude cut and just for visual, we'll just extrude cut that by two mil. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and mirror. So let's choose the mirror command. And for the features, we'll select every feature we have. So the first lobe, the second lobe, have one part of the shaft, the other part, the fillets of the lobes, chamfer of the shaft, and the through hole. Oh, sorry, the, um, the extrude cut on the shaft here. And the mirror plane will rotate the part and we'll select this plane here. Preview looks good. Let's hit OK. And then let's just apply some appearances to make this um, a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Let's select all the lobes, hold down control, and keep drawing boxes around each of the lobes. Under the appearance menu, we will select the glossy black appearance. And then let's do the same process for the shaft. So select all the components of the shaft. And for this appearance, let's use, let's use semi-polished. Save, that looks good. And there we have our camshaft. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in a comment section. But aside from that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.